Hello and welcome to my closet tour. This is going to be a two part video where I do a closet switch over and then I'm also going to give you a proper tour of what it looks like at the end. I think my favorite feature of our walk-in wardrobe is actually the mirrored sliding door. This is really practical and it's also a great space saver and it was a really affordable addition to our wardrobe. I do share the wardrobe with my husband, so he has most of the drawers and then also this one main hanging section as well as sharing the blazer hanging section of the wardrobe. Beyond that, I've got two short hanging sections for tops, skirts, trousers, and then we have shelving in the corner, which we felt would be the best way to maximize the space. And then when you are facing the wardrobe, entering it with a long hanging section with a drawer at the bottom, and then there is a large shelf in an L shape at the top of the closet. So it's tidy and compact, but there is just enough space in there for the two of us. So what I'm gonna do now is pull everything out of the wardrobe. And this is gonna be very similar to what I would recommend doing if you were decluttering your closet or going through all of your clothing, trying to determine what you are and aren't wearing. I'm gonna split my wardrobe up into a few piles. We'll have a spring and summer pile, which are going to be items that are off season that I'm not reaching for and are essentially cluttering up my closet. They're going to go in hibernation until the weather warms up here in Sydney. Then I'm gonna have a section which is what I call my core capsule. And this is essentially the items that you're reaching for on repeat, that you're wearing all the time and that you know are going to be the foundational building blocks of your wardrobe for the season ahead. I'll have another pile which are going to be items that are seasonally appropriate that are going to complement or be a supporting actors to my core capsule. And then I will have a fourth pile that will be the seasonal items that I currently want to put away in storage for now because I want to get the most of some of the other items that I have in my closet. So first step, let's pull everything out. And this is a really good opportunity to do a deep clean of your wardrobe. So I'm gonna give it a quick vacuum as well as wipe down all of the wardrobe carcasses and all of the shelves. I think this is also a good time to actually look through and review all of your items, see if there's anything that has stains that does need to be cleaned, as well as anything that may require a bit of wardrobe maintenance. So this might be sweaters that have become a little bit bobbly that need to be depilled using a fabric shaver or a wool comb, or perhaps there is a hole in it that needs to be patched up. You may also find some items that need to go to the tailor as well, so set those aside so that you can drop them off in the week ahead. So as I'm slowly making up my piles, I'm also thinking about things like what is the color palette that I want for the season ahead? And of course, it's mostly going to be neutrals for me, but I do love the odd pop of color. And I've really noticed that there's kind of these greens and pinks that are shining through at the moment. While I probably wouldn't pair the two colors together, I love them separately on their own for this little burst of happiness and whimsy to my outfits. Now that I've got all my piles set, I'm going to start refreshing the wardrobe. I'm going to begin putting everything back. And the way that I like to organize my wardrobe is by category and color. So all of my jackets are paired together, all of my tops and blouses are paired together, and then they are chronologically ordered within the color spectrum going from light to dark. For trousers and skirts, I will typically pair similar items on the same hanger. So this could be crop trousers on one, or dark colored trousers on a hanger and light colored trousers on another. Same goes for skirts and shorts. Obviously all my shorts will be tucked away until spring summer. I'm still trying to figure out how to best utilize this shelving. And I did actually get these organizers for my denim, but I found them a little bit clunky to use. And I thought that it might be easier to try and fold up my denim in the wardrobe and then I can just pull them out as and when I need, almost like a stacked bookshelf. The same thing that I've done with my knitwear. And this has actually worked pretty well because I tend to like putting everything away as it should be at the end of the day, or at least the next morning if I I've not been up to it at night. The other thing I'm going to do at this point is add in some additional winter appropriate pieces that I've had tucked away, not an easy reach. So I've just not been wearing them on rotation and I really want to get maximum use out of them this season. So that top shelf is where I'm going to store all of my handbags and I've pulled out the bags that feel a little bit more spring and summer ready in favor of ones that are options I would typically reach for in the cooler months. 
The second shelf is again where I'm keeping all of my knitwear, same as before. I found this a really good place as it's right at arm's reach when I'm getting ready in the morning. On the same shelf as all my knitwear is where I've decided to stack my jeans. The next shelf down is where I've decided to store a couple of boxes with shoes in them that I want to get on rotation that I haven't stored underneath our bed. I'll show you this, it's a separate storage system and really practical. And then I've also got a couple of additional handbags here as well. This is where I'm also keeping some accessories that I want to be wearing on a daily basis. Then at the bottom of the shelving, again, this is where I'm keeping some additional pairs of shoes that I want to be wearing throughout the season. This long hanging section will feature my dresses, longer jackets and coats, as well as my skirts and some of my trousers that I've chosen to put on a clip hanger. Again, you can see that I've done the exact same thing here where I've sorted it into category and then I have color coordinated it. And I found that this is such an easy way to find what you're looking for in the morning. Above this long hanging section is where I've got my overflow knitwear. So this is a knitwear that I'm not wearing quite as frequently as the ones that I've put in the shelf, but that I still want to have within arm's reach for when the mood strikes. So this is where I'm keeping some of my more colorful knitwear and also just ones that feel like they might be a little bit of a double up. Up here you'll see I've also got some additional storage these are shoes that aren't on high rotation so special occasion shoes as well as my denim shorts because I don't really have anywhere else to keep them at the moment I do also have two drawers in the wardrobe one is where I keep all of my undergarments and the one below that is where I keep some of my underlayers my base layers for my outfit so I have done a little bit of a refresh of these as well swapping out some of those spring summer pieces for some more autumn winter appropriate styles I also have all my pajamas in here too then we have the drawer underneath the bed and I can't even tell you how much I adore this bed it has just been such a practical purchase in addition to our home so we have two really deep large drawers at the front of the bed which pull out and this is where I store all of my shoes and you'll see that I do have the dust bags in here as well so that I can protect my shoes and so that they're not getting all grubby. So that was a peek into my wardrobe as well as a seasonal switchover. I hope that you enjoyed this video and thank you so much for spending some of your day with me. If you would like to subscribe and see more videos from me then I would love to have you back and I hope you have the most magical week ahead. I will see you very soon my next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.